firsthand of what it's like to be a firefighter in San Bernardino County where we're constantly on the move in one of the busiest fire departments per capita in all of California. <laughs> Our firefighters cover the 12th most populated county in the nation spread out over 19,000 square miles which makes San Bernardino County Fire the largest fire district in the entire nation. So uh, today uh, was a very important event for uh, the San Bernardino County Professional Firefighters Local 935. It was called Fire Ops 101. Fire Ops 101 is a partnership with the County Fire District and the International Association of Firefighters that involves inviting our elected and appointed officials in the county uh, to our training center down in San Bernardino and they go through our training evolutions and several of them actually went through uh, the burn container which you see behind me and in a live fire uh, under controlled and safe conditions with our personnel and professional firefighters to feel the heat, uh, to see what it's like to be uh, in our boots for a day. Today was an experience to come down and, and, and actually go through firsthand what the firemen go through during a fire. Full gear, sit it up, about 70 extra pounds, going into an actual hot room with a fire, working a hose. Uh, it's a frightening experience, uh, also uh, very exciting. A lot of adrenaline. I gotta tell you, I don't know if I was only there for two or three minutes, uh, but I can tell you, it's uh, it's very intense, and you're happy when it's over. It's uh, it's truly something that's uh, somewhat fearful to really see what goes on when you're first hand fighting a fire. also able to participate in several other scenarios uh, such as a traffic collision with people trapped. Uh, there was a urban search and rescue scenario involving a low angle rope rescue system. There was an EMS scenario in the classroom uh, that involved our 4th uh, District Supervisor, Kurt Hagman, uh, who simulated having a heart attack. And uh, fortunately, uh, the outcome for him was positive thanks to the rapid response of uh, our paramedic fire engine and, and uh, ambulance that arrived on scene and was able to treat him. It was nice to see what our crews actually do and what they, all the stuff that they have to do. Because they come in and visit us all the time and they're like, wow, you guys do a lot of work because we're multitasking all the time, but we never get to see what they get to do. So it's nice to be able to see them and in their, in their habitat. Great experience for us. We don't ever get to see this side of things. It's always in the center. We only get to see videos online, but actually being here firsthand to experience everything was very amazing. And I definitely applaud the guys for everything they do as far as what they experience, all the gear they wear, and keep everybody safe in the community. So this was a very productive and uh, educating day for our elected officials. Uh, anytime we can get our decision makers in our shoes and show them what it's like, it's, it, it benefits the communities we serve and it definitely benefits our membership. Well, no, I think we've all know. I think everyone knows, but until you're in the environment, it's just different. It's completely different. Tough job. Tough job. Incredible job. Under a lot of stress and, and conditions you can't imagine. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to our chiefs.